Welcome to another Tableau tutorial video. I'm real excited about today. We're going to be using fixed and exclude to do some real complex exclusions. Now with all my videos, I would love to have you like them, leave comments, and of course subscribe. That's really great feedback. So I had a client, not using this exact data, but the concept is the same, where they had a customer, region, order ID, and then product name. And what he wanted to do is he wanted to exclude the customer if um, a particular product was deselected. And I've already narrowed down the product list. So for we all know how to do Boston Pencil Sharpener Easy Erase. You click that, and that one particular item goes away. What he wanted to have happen was to have all of Aaron Bergman go away. And that is possible. It takes a couple steps. The first is I had to get a count of all the products for Aaron Bergman. Let's see if you can see this. And I used that, you created that using a fixed. I said, okay, for this customer, Aaron Bergman, give me a count of all the number of products that he has. Not distinct, but a number of all the products. And we find that he has, takes a second, 89 products. And you can do some double checks, and I have, but just trust me on this, that 89 is the right number. Now, what I want to do is, as we, if we deselect this, it's still going to, because it's fixed, it's still going to show 89 is the number of products that he has. Now, we're going to take advantage of an, another uh, level, of level of detail function. This is exclude. Let me get this bigger. Do you see that? It's very similar. What this is saying is, I'm going to jump around. Give me the count of all the product name and exclude from the view, because these items are going to be in the view, exclude the product name, the order ID, and the region. Okay? I'm going to come back to this. And so what happens is when you bring this over, this is going to give you the same number. Okay? So far, are you with me? Watch what happens if I get rid of product ID, I mean product name. Give me the count. Okay, it's saying, okay, there is one, this product, it's giving me a product count for that level. Okay, it's just that. Let's add this back in, because this is really important. When you're talking about level of description, Sorry, LOD expressions, fixed happens before the dimension filters, exclude happens after. And that's going to be really key. So let's get rid of order ID here. We're actually going to get rid of both of these. We're saying, okay, forget about product name and order ID. And what should happen is as you go by Africa, actually, it's not that. It's going to pull out Africa, and you're going to still have all these ones here. Made a mistake. So we're going to say get rid of, we're going to exclude product name. And now it's going to look at, roll please, it's going to look at the order ID. Okay, this order has two product names right there. This order has four product names. And so we're telling, we're telling Tableau which dimensions do we want to filter out. And this is going to count at the lowest level. In this case, it's order ID. So by putting in order ID, region order ID and product name, we're now going to be doing the product count at the customer name level. 
And that is the real powerful piece here. Now watch what happens. Gonna get rid of this item. Fixed stays the same, but the exclude goes down by one. And that is the key, because this, this filter calculates after the filter has been taken into a place, into a gallon. So then I just created a simple if then statement to show the to show the customer saying if the fixed product count, which isn't going to change, is equal to the exclude product count, meaning we've not we haven't pulled anything off, then we're going to continue to show that person. Else we're going to hide him or her. So I'm going to bring this over. And because it's a measure, it's going to come up as count. And so what I'll need to do, what I probably should have done is changed it to a dimension. But since I'm here, I'm going to change it to an attribute. And then it's going to show me hide or show. You can see this is all hide. Scrolling down a ways to the next customer. Let's see here. Aaron Hawkins has 56 items and he still has 56 items and we're going to show okay and here's where it gets real powerful we're going to take that control left click and drag it over to filters and we're going to look at attribute hit next and we're going to say we want to filter out hide So now Aaron Bergman, oh, I thought I had that it's still showing there, I'm sorry. Let's put that up here. Actually, you're right. So I want to show as attribute, I selected the wrong one. We actually want to show, only show the ones that have show. And now he's gone. If we select this again, there he is. He's back. Aaron Bergman's back. This is, I've been looking for an example to demonstrate the power of exclude. And this is it. By using the total product count and then using the function to get the current product count that's being selected and then using, comparing those two, you're able to get a, uh, a filter that you can apply. And this works because, as you can see, uh, fixed happens before the dimension filters, exclude happens after. Make sure you like and subscribe and leave a comment of something else you'd like to see.